farm. Just going to do a quick video of our new setup. Um, I don't know if other people have done this or not, but uh, we tried a new setup because we were getting a lot of ticks. Um, we're pulling a lot of ticks off the pigs. Um, so we've tried this new setup here. I'm going to turn around and show you. We're down here at the Wellsomers and some of the other uh, pigs here. And we've just put all the chickens with the pigs. We're calling it our bacon and egg system. Um, there's Boudreaux. And um, just wanted to go over some of the benefits of why this is working and how it's working. Um, we have not noticed anywhere near the amount of ticks anymore getting on the pigs and so it's just been a cool setup and we feed them all at the same time and yeah the pigs eat a little bit of the chicken food but the chickens are getting enough so we're not too worried about that um hey hazel there's hazel there's big red here's arnold hey arnold how you doing bud come here these are the new boars we had just got. One is Arnold. We got the little one over there, calling him Bubba. And they've warmed up to us, coming real friendly. Um, I'm gonna go around and show you all three pens. But just wanna say, it's a nice little setup here. The pigs have been knocking the chicken waters over, but the chickens have been drinking out of the pig waters. So that hasn't really been that big an issue. Um, so let's go up and we'll check out, hey Bubba, we'll check out the other two pens of our bacon and egg systems. Hey bud. All right, we're coming up on, uh, Doug and Lucy's little area here they're in with the uh, Easter eggers same thing guys we've got the hog netting set up it's only 24 inches high yes chickens could easily fly out of here but they haven't been the only time they've really been getting out is when the little little pig down there uh, Bubba was chasing the chickens around they fly out so we're not worried about them getting out they, they'll go back in um, like I said, the biggest thing is the chickens have been helping with the ticks for the pigs. Um, a lot of you guys know we're basically built in the middle of a pasture, so most of our land, there's no trees except for the outside. So in the heat of summer here, there's Lucy. In the heat of summer, the pigs aren't don't have a lot of shade, so we've got them set up in the three most shaded spots on the farm. So they've been staying in these areas a little bit longer just so we can get some shade. Hey, baby. And so the other nice part about it is the chickens, we've come in here and cleaned up poop and everything, but it's been a couple days and you can see the chickens are breaking down a lot of the pig manure so it's not building up. So besides them helping with the ticks, they're also breaking down some of the manure so there's not as much pig manure, right, baby? Oh, yeah. So, another benefit there. <laughs> Old Doug, he don't want to come out. Let's go see if we can see Doug here really quick before we move on. Because I know you want to see the piglets. And they've got chickens in there too. Hey, Doug. How'd you get all muddy, bud? There's Doug. Hey, buddy. And these are the Easter Eggers we've got in here with them. All right, let's go over and see Miss Cupcake and her six babies. Cake. And uh, we didn't want to leave her out. We we're finding a bunch of ticks on her. So this is what made us first think of this idea. Hey, Mama. So 
So here's Cupcake and all her piglets. And uh, this is what made us first think of the idea because she was getting a lot of ticks. So we put the uh, three amigos, Hey Hey, Tree Bark, and Miss Smalls who were getting picked on. We put them down in here with her so they could help her and we have not had near as many ticks. We've maybe pulled two or three off of her since bringing the chickens in and they don't bother her at all. Piglets, they don't bother them. And like I said, they can easily jump out. It's only a two feet high hog fence. But they've been breaking down the poop. We clean it out too, but they break it down a lot more than if the chickens weren't in here. And uh, they're also, we're noticing not as many ticks. So it's been a good system. A little update on the piglets. We thought we were gonna lose Tank or Hank, whatever. We call them a whole bunch of different things. Um, had a little bit of ammonia. We've been getting him some antibiotics. He's back there. Second one from the back. You can hear him a little bit, but he's eating and he's been coming around. We thought he was gonna die the other day, but he's coming around and getting a lot better, so that's good. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, his head feathers are growing back in. I know it's kind of gross looking, but they're starting to grow back in. Piglets are doing well. So these are our bacon and egg mobiles, we call them. We got the chickens and the pigs together, and it's working well for us. If you're having any problems with ticks, or maybe you wanna, if your pig pen is a little more static and you can't move it as much, throw the chickens in there, and they'll help break down that manure for you. We'll catch you guys on the next video.